Stand! Oh, ten, two! Stand! Four, work! Work! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of Company C. The graduation ceremony that you're about to see is the culmination of our group training process and marks the beginning of a challenging future for our new Marines. For the convenience of everyone attending the ceremony, we request that you please remain in your seats until the ceremony is complete. We also ask that you do not pass in front of the room stand or onto the parade deck during the ceremony. Once the ceremony is complete, Please be sure to gather all of your belongings and place any dress in the set rules located behind you prior to exiting the stands. Lastly, do not step over any chain fence or walk onto the grass. Thank you for your cooperation. The term Yellow Dog is used today as a friendly reference between Marines, but the nickname has a proud history. It was first given to the Marines by German troops who fought against them at the Battle of Bella Wood during World War I. In 1921, Major General Smith and Buffett introduced the first Bulldog as a Marine Master. Now entering the parade day is Parasite's own Double Dog, Mantor Over May II. Mantor Over May is an English Bulldog who enlisted in the Marine and reported to recruit training on March 14, 2022, and graduated on May 6, 2022. Mantor Over May's handle is thanks to the Morales Canals of the Hanglers and Service Battalion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, Captain Durham. Staff! Pull it! The staff is being free to the province of officers and ghost hunters from the first crew training to town. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. The chaplain of the first group training town, Lieutenant Hackett, United States Navy, will deliver an invocation. In 1776, the General George Washington command directed his colonels to appoint chaplains in every regiment. Since that time, chaplains have been in the trenches with our nation war fighters. Will you join me one last time as I pray for the fine new Marines of Company C? Let's pray. Holy Father, I come before you in the name of your Son, in order that you may receive glory for sustaining these young men through recruit training. We boldly confess that it is you who have enabled them to burn the coveted evil, globe, and anger. Going forward, may they be diligent to remember and live the core values of the core, honor, courage, and commitment. May they be resolved to embody the ethos of the Marine while they continue training in school and in the fleet. May they be always faithful to complete the mission should the call ever come to defend our precious Constitution against tyranny and terrorism. Most of all, May you, Holy Spirit, grant them perseverance in believing that you alone are the only Savior and Sovereign Lord, worthy of our everlasting worship. Now to the King Eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, in honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. President parades in the Marine Corps have the basis of both history and tradition. The mass formation of troops on one long line at close range made possible the massing of power from muscular buskets of yesterday. In those early days, the line of battle was just that, a line that took the ranks and looked much like the parade formation that you're about to see today. The adjutant forms the line for battle. The Marine marching across the parade is Captain Pavone. 
He did the great action, and will barely shortly give the command to begin the ceremony. His position, Wingy Hawks, indicates where the right flank of the formation will rest. Once positioned, he will draw his sword and supervise the placement of the formation.
platoons are being aligned from left to right in order to get them in their exact position for the ceremony.
The parade attribute now presents the command to the commander of troops, indicating that the parade is formed.
our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title of the United States Marine. In keeping with the slogan, once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize you. We ask that those men and women in the audience who have served in the United States Marine Corps please rise. Please join us in showing our appreciation for the of the
Soon you will leave here and join the ranks of fellow Marines serving around the world and will represent everything that is great about this country. I want you to think back on the challenges that you endure here in group training because remembering those experiences will help guide you through the future challenges you will most certainly face. Also, Marines, remember this. The Marines are the first call. Marines are the first to arrive. Marines are the first to fight and Marines win. There is no better friend, no worse enemy than the United States Marines. So wear our trusted emblem with pride and honor, not just on your uniform, but in your heart. Because once a Marine, always a Marine. Never forget the feeling that you have when your drill instructor placed that eagle Roman anchor into the palm of your hand. Cherish that memory. You will carry that emblem with you forever. Finally, Marines, above all else, serve with honor, serve with courage, serve with commitment, and you will do well. Congratulations, Marines, on your tremendous achievements. I wish you all the very best of luck, Semper Fidelis. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you our nation's newest United States Marines.
Everybody serve the place for us. Pass the command in review. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, 
Sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm The company commander of Company C, Captain Dirk. The new Marines came up with two nuts have been selected as the honored graduates for their platoons. They will now retire their guidance. Personnel to be awarded!
Platoon guidelines that are about to be retired have been the identification flags of each platoon throughout recruit training. To each, the guideline is a symbol of spirit, dedication, teamwork, and unit identity. Retire! The honor graduate of the 2016 and the high shooter of Company C with a score of 338 out of 350 possible points is PC Tinsley from Charlotte, North Carolina. PC Tinsley was recruited by Sergeant Master. The company honor graduate of Company C is PC Select of the 2017. PC Select is from Chestnut, Connecticut. Is recruited by Sergeant Santos. The honor graduate of the 2018 is PC James. PC James is from Fredericksburg, Virginia, and is recruited by Staff Sergeant Pattis. The honor graduate of the 2020 and the most physically fit Marine of Company C, with a score of 595 out of 600 possible points, is PC Bernard from Charlotte, North Carolina. PC Bernal was recruited by Sergeant Lewis. The honor graduate of the 2021 is PC Perez from Miami, Florida. PC Perez was recruited by Sergeant Alexis. The honor graduate of the 2022 is PC Pedro from Dutch North, Pennsylvania. PC Pedro was recruited by Sergeant Smith. Marching onto the parade is the primary march of the instructor of the 2016, Sergeant Moran.
to the money of Andrew Wood, which represents the historic partnership and shared legacy of the United States Navy and the Marine Corps, followed by the Marine Tank and the final dismissal. If you have served or are currently serving in the United States Marine Corps, we invite you to sing along to the Marine Tank. The senior drone instructors will now dismiss their platoons. This is the last and probably the most welcome order the new Marines received from their senior drone instructors. Thank you for attending today's graduation ceremony.